going to be a video here on Photo Mechanic, my absolute favorite browser. Um, if you know anybody who's been a journalist, most likely they're using this. Um, but truthfully, I know a lot of people who are, are commercial photographers and actually use Photoshop. It is not anything fancy like Lightroom that allows you to edit, but um, that's probably the reason why I actually don't like Lightroom is because it's slow and cumbersome, takes forever to import, and then what really takes forever is um, rendering previews so you can actually start working. Um, Photo Mechanic is great. It's been out for years, and it's crazy fast. Its rendering process is insane. It's always been like that, and that is the main reason I use it. So this is the main window within uh, Photo Mechanic 5. So I'm going to hit the command key, command G, and actually I'm going to have to plug my drive back in so I can get my card. So here's my card and it's automatically selected, all right? So this is ingest disk here for ingest uh, folder. So um, ignore, copy all photos into the same destination. That's what I'm going to be doing. So into a folder name, and this one I've labeled mittens. Um, and then right here we have what's called variables. So variables are located in here. And when you click on a variable, it will tell you what it's going to do. And they have tons of variables um, located within this. And if you wanted to add a variable, um, you would just double click here and it would add. I'm not going to do it because we don't want it. Uh, so here I'm adding the month, the day, and the year. Over here, I'm adding the source, and what I have under source are my initials, and then a sequence. The sequence is starting at 106. I can reset that. Now it's at 1. We have location where my images are going to go. This is a hard drive. You can add a secondary hard drive. We can uh, copy lock and unlock photos, um, raw and non-raw. You have the ability to just do raw, just do JPEG. This is your IPTC, and this is key, especially um, if you work editorial. Um, and open the contact sheet, which, which is going to make sense. It's going to open so you can start working as soon as the ingest happens. There's no waiting. You, I can actually usually pick images faster than uh, it can download it some, sometimes, unless I'm going on S SSD. Uh, and then you can check this to automatically unmount your disk so you don't have to dump it afterwards. You can just easily take it out. Um, I don't erase my disk. So. so before you ingest, you want to go in here. You have the availability to either select or deselect what you want to add. And I would normally add more stuff than this. Um, I also use variables here, so it'll automatically add the, the date and the month. And you can do this for the day you're doing it or the day it was captured on the card. Either way will work. Um, this, it has my all kinds of information. It has copyright information, my address, my phone number, in case people want to get a hold of me and, and, and uh, to purchase an image or use it. So I will close that. I will close this. So I'm just going to hit ingest. We will eliminate this. And you can see uh, these are not the most exciting images. We have this uh, able to change the size of our thumbnails. So notice these are ready to go. I can click on this image and it's ready to go. So I can literally start going through and tagging images. So let's say I like that image. I can hit just the number one and it's going to give me down here a color. And you just hit two, three, four, five, zero to nothing. All right. So that allows me to tag images. And so now we can see um, here are some images that were, that were shot. So we have this crab here. Um, and notice that now it's added mittens. There's my initials and the number of the image. We op hit I and open that. Notice it's filled in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania, Monday, February 15th. 2016 so that is going on the day that it was shot is what I have it up set up for right now 
that's not uh, today's date and so here's the rest of the information um, down below and so we can actually copy through and if you want to just add uh, information to uh, a caption this is where you have to, you don't have to do anything you just literally type so I'll go to the next dip image go back you can see it's automatically been saved one of the great things about uh, photo mechanic is a thing called code replacement so if you shoot a lot of professional sports um, this is great so if you go under edit to settings and go to set code replacement um, so I already have this set up here so this is uh, Chicago White Sox and these are simple text files so I just downloaded some real quick so you could see what they look like so here's Major League Baseball they come they're all the text files so I'll open the Chicago White Sox one these are something that anybody can create just a simple text document so the guy who did this did kind of a, a long uh, cursor this is what you need to type in to get this information so Chicago White Sox number 46 you don't know, need to know that number 46 is Neil Cotts. You just need to see the guy's jersey. You type in a delineator code, which I'll show you, CWS46. Do you need to do CWS? No, you could do CW. You could just do C. It doesn't matter. Whatever you have here, so you could do C46, and it would type in uh, Neil Cotts. And you can add information. So uh, number 20, if I wanted, instead of my all my images to just say the guy's name, if I wanted to say Chicago's John Garland, I can easily add that and change it. So I'll show you how that works. This is a simple text. You could do this for high school. All you need to do is once the in the beginning of the year, figure out what your coding is going to be, add the information, how you want it to come out. Um, I've seen, you know, uh, football come out, you know, John Potts, number 24, running back, for Penn State, uh, all that information can be put in. So whatever you add here, it's gonna be put in. So we'll close this out. So we'll come back here. We'll go to Edit, Settings, Set Code Replacement. So um, I'll just remove this temporarily. Click on that, Remove. All you gotta do to add schools. And what's great is like if Chicago is playing Anaheim, you can just copy both of these text files onto one file and and just use that one file. You don't have to actually add two if you don't want to. So we'll just add Chicago, hit OK. So we'll assume that this is a, a player here. So uh, you're going to use this slat, the forward slash button right here, or backslash or whatever it's called. I'm not even sure which one it's forward or back. doesn't matter. And then you type in member CWS number 10 we'll say and the the same delineator code backslash automatically types in this guy's name so we'll go back so i'll type in this backslash here cws and this time i'll do that number 20 and then hit it again so now it's typing in chicago's john garland so that's code replacement you can do this for anything you can think of and there's organizations some of them, most of them are you have to pay a little bit of money now. Some are free. And they literally have the NFL, the NC, the basketball, hockey, any sport. Uh, most of the time, college and pro. Um, all you got to do is type, if you want Pittsburgh Steelers, you type Pittsburgh Steelers versus Minnesota. It fills out all the information and you're good to go. So automatically create your text file. You don't have to create it yourself. All right. So that's good. So tagging process of this image is really easy. I usually double click on one image. So I have thumbnails. You can put your thumbnails um, anywhere you want to go. They can be on, on the foreground or on the bottom. Um, truthfully, it doesn't matter because I'm not using them. I'm just using my right hand to toggle through. And I'm just going to use uh, the color number one. And that's going to give me that purple color. So anything that I like. So I simply get through here and I like that picture of that crab but I like that one I'm hitting one hit one went back that one looks good so I hit one I will get rid of this screen I will come down here get rid of this gray this gets rid of everything and so now 
I've edited down all those photos to just a few simple ones so I can come in here and click um, if I want to uh, see multiple images I can click on multiple images to change to see what they look like truthfully I never used that this allows me to go back through and say oh you know what that's no good I'll hit zero I'll automatically delete that image from where I'm looking at and let's say I go through here and pick let's say that's my favorite even though I don't really care if it is I can hit number two it will automatically turn that to red I can get back out so I if I want to get rid of the pink images I can come over here and hit pink all right um, you don't have to use stars as you can see I mean colors you can come down here and hit number one and do stars number two stars so you can use stars or uh, colors and there's lots of different stuff available so it's just a quick little um, tutorial into Photoshop I'll just click on this image now so I'm gonna hit command E or in this or you can just use this uh, image up here there's a whole bunch of little stuff this little pen right here is edit photo so if you click that it'll automatically launch into Photoshop so I'm gonna hit command E which does the same alright so you will hit after you hit command E this will go straight into Adobe Camera Raw the great thing is if you like Lightroom Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom are the exact same program I mean there's nothing about it the interface is different that it looks different but it has the exact same functions so there's actually no difference between camera raw and Adobe Lightroom in the way it works I'm not going to do any adjustments because I'm not actually going to tune this I will just hit OK and there we go here's our uh, image um, it's ready to be toned if we need to tone some more um, as you can see I will bring the file info all the file info from the IPTC data fields um, as far and as camera data has all been transferred over into Photoshop and you're ready to go so you can easily take this image I have a, a lot of action keys um, on Photoshop so let me just go and bring down an action here so we will go horizontal Facebook is actually uh, so I will save this we'll change this to a JPEG file so mittens JPEG hit save and I can go through and save all my images so now we have this J as a JPEG um, I can come in here after I've toned all my images add the rest of my uh, information to my caption and then the best thing is you can easily select multiple let's say I used all three of these photos and I want to send these by FTP this is great you can come in here just send FTP as right and so here's a I'm not gonna actually send it to this place and you can see I have a couple set up so I would just hit send and this would automatically FTP those images with all the caption information to where it needs to go so it's a little on uh, photo mechanic it's absolutely wonderful program um, so uh, I'm pretty sure on their website it, it's probably free for a month or so if you want to try it out so I have no affiliation with them at all um, they have no idea I'm making this program I mean this tutorial so uh, go ahead and check them out it's a great really quick efficient browser